26, 2020 deliberative meeting for the city of Chester. Initially, I would note for the record that this deliberative meeting was published in January to be scheduled on Monday, August 24, 2020. Because of the COVID pandemic, both the deliberative meetings and the regular meetings are held on the same date back to back. This particular meeting was published, republished for today, August 26, 2020 at 10 a.m. in the Delaware County Daily Times, as well as on the Chester City website. With respect to public comment, we have provided for a call-in number, 610-447-7700, extension 7951, as well as an ability to email in advance of the meeting for public comment. With respect to today's deliberative meeting, the following resolutions are before council for consideration. Resolution one, to authorize approval of a promotion of a police officer to the position of acting sergeant. Resolution two, to authorize approval of a promotion of a firefighter to the position of acting captain. Resolution three, to authorize approval for the purchase of a fire truck. Resolution four, to authorize approval of the reasonable accommodation policy. Resolution five, to authorize approval of the amended citizen participation plan. Resolution six, to authorize approval of a fire escrow refund. Resolution seven, to authorize approval of an expenditure list. In addition to the aforementioned resolutions, an ordinance will be read. First reading, creation of Article 924 entitled, quote, street cleaning, end quote. With the reading of the resolutions in the ordinance, that concludes the deliberative list for today. Thank you, Mr. Solicitor. Is there any questions from council? Any questions from department heads regarding the items on the deliberative or the agenda today? He or Sierra none. This deliberative meeting is now adjourned. Good morning again. We ask that you all rise. If you have a cell phone or some type of device, we ask that you put it on vibrate mute and turn it off. We will be led by our Madam Clerk uh, with prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. O oh God of might, wisdom and justice, through whom authority is rightly administered, laws enacted and judgment decreed, assist us, we beseech thee, that this city council may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to thy people over whom we preside. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Here. Jacobs. Present. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Present. You were now asked for the move of approval of minutes. So move. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Yes. At this time, we open up the microphones in this meeting for public comments. Mr. Solicitor, do we have any public comments uh, from email or from phone, from calling in at this time? There is one public comment from email received from J.C. Malachella, who does live in Trainer. However, it's a request for permission to put together an event in the city. So I will hand that to you and... So this um, comment or 
public, yes, public comment is pretty lengthy. Uh, I will not read the entire thing. Um, I will read the first portion of it. Uh, it reads, the Chester City Incident Blog partnering with Forgotten Cats is requesting permission to put together a TNR, which uh, stands for a Trap Neuter Release event for the stray and feral cats living within the city. Preliminary details include breaking the city off into 10 sections, possibly more or less, depending on findings, and setting approximately 100 humane traps over the course of two to three days, one section at a time. Each cat will be fixed, brought up to date on shots, and then returned to the environment they were trapped from. In some cases, cats may be retained and fostered or adopted. Um, there's many, there's a lot more within this uh, comment as far as an event that this uh, individual or the <coughs> Chester incident blog would like to uh, put together within the city of Chester. Um, right now, I know a, a lot of the uh, things that goes on with uh, cats and, and, and dogs and animals uh, lies within the public safety department uh, with Councilman Jacob, Jacobs and the health department. Um, there, we understand that there is a huge uh, burden going on within our city uh, when it comes to stray dogs and sh I apologize. We understand that there's a lot going on within our city uh, dealing with stray dogs and stray cats uh, running around uh, throughout the city of Chester. Um, if, if we want to, if we can partner with the Chester Incident uh, Block into coming up with a project uh, to potentially uh, help some of these uh, stray cats throughout the city, I'm sure that we're uh, able and willing to sit down and discuss what options are available uh, to make sure that we can come up with a uh, positive and uh, plan uh, to get the project or see the project through. Um, I, I know my office is open and my phone lines are open, I believe. I know Councilman Jacobs' phone line is open as well uh, for, for the Chester Incident Blog to reach out to us to have a sit down and discuss uh, the, the potential options to, uh, to get this completed. So, yes. Um, this is something that we would love to look into and dive into a little bit further. Um, and uh, please do reach out to uh, Chester City Hall. Uh, again, I'm uh, Councilman William Morgan and also Councilman uh, William Al Jacobs, uh, being as though it is his department, uh, so that we can see how we can assist. Would you like to add anything, Councilman? No, I would. Um, <clears throat> you basically said it all. Even when we had um, animal control, it just basically dealt with uh, stray dogs. Um, all over the county, there's no sort of solution for, for cats. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that and we'll be um, you know, looking to sit down with that individual and see what we can come up with to address the problem that we have in the city for, um, for cats. Mr. Solicitor, are there any other uh, comments or individuals calling in? There are no other emails, and I have received no phone calls uh, to date by this time. Okay. Thank you. Madam? After. Mm -hmm. Madam Clerk? Resolution. The Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does hereby promote Matthew Stewart to the position of acting sergeant Chester Police Department, Department of Public Affairs, effective August 30th, 2020, with a 90-day probationary period at the salary range as provided in the annual appropriation ordinance. So moved. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk? Councilors Williams? Yes. Jacobs? Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan? Yes. Resolution, the Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does hereby promote firefighter Paul Curry to the position of acting captain in the Bureau of Fire, Department of Public Safety, effective September 1st, 2020, for a period not to exceed 90 days at the salary range as provided in the annual appropriation ordinance. So moved. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams? Yes. Jacobs? Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan? Yes. Resolution, whereas the City of Chester Bureau of Fire, Department of Public Safety, has determined that there is a need for the acquisition of one Seagrave Marauder Hydro Force Fire Truck, and whereas Seagrave 
Fire Apparatus, LLC, has agreed to furnish said apparatus and equipment. Now, therefore, the Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does hereby authorize entering into a contract with Seagrave Fire Apparatus, LLC, for the acquisition of one Seagrave Marauder Hydro Force Fire Truck to be funded by allocated Community Development Block Grant, grant excuse me, CDBG funds. Further, it does hereby ratify the execution of the contract and any related documents necessary to complete the transaction by the Chief Financial Officer for and on behalf of the City of Chester. So moved. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk? Councilors Williams? Yes. Jacobs? Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan? Yes. Resolution, whereas the Federal Fair Housing Amendment Act of 1998 and applicable laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania require that individuals with disabilities be provided reasonable accommodation to ensure equal access to housing. And whereas the city's analysis of impediments to fair housing identify reasonable accommodation as it applies to zoning and land use provisions as one of the elements impacting persons with disabilities. And whereas the city desires to formalize a reasonable accommodation policy in zoning and land use that provides individuals with disabilities or developers of housing for people with disabilities, flexibility in the application of land use, zoning and building regulations, policies, practices and procedures, or even the waiving, the waiving of certain requirements when it is necessary to eliminate barriers to housing opportunities. Now, therefore, the Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does hereby approve the reasonable accommodation policy in zoning and land use, and a copy of such policy is to be filed with this resolution. So moved. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Yes. Resolution, whereas in accordance with 24 CFR Part 91.105 of the regulations governing consolidated submissions to the Department of Housing and Urban Development for community planning and development programs, the City of Chester adopted a citizen participation plan last amended May 13, 2015. And whereas the city desires to amend the citizen participation plan by adding section four, declaration of emergency to reflect the process to be followed when a declaration of an emergency has been ordered by the president of the United States or the governor of Pennsylvania. And whereas a notice of availability of the proposed amended citizen <coughs> particip participation plan was duly advertised in a newspaper of general circulation, and the draft, the draft amended citizen, citizen participation plan, oh, I'm on a roll today, Anna, <laughs> was made available for review and comment from August 10th, 2020 to August 25th, 2020 at Chester City Hall, as well as on the city's website at www.chestercity.com and on Chester Economic Development Authority's website at www.ceda.cc. Now, therefore, the Council of the City of Chester does hereby resolve that it does hereby approve the amended citizen participation plan, and a copy of such plan is to be filed with this resolution. So moved. Second. Are there any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Yes. Resolution, the Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does hereby authorize the Department of Accounts and Finance to refund the sum of $19,060 to Gregory Tucker, which represents escrow refund for the repair of damages sustained to the property located at 2128 West 9th Street, Chester, PA, 1913. <coughs> so moved. Second. Any questions? 
Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Yes. Resolution, the Council of the City of Chester does resolve that it does approve and order payment of a series of bills and refunds as prepared by the Department of Accounts and Finance and is shown on expenditure approval list dated August 17, 2020, attached hereto and made a part hereof subject to approval from the Department of Accounts and Finance. So moved. Second. Any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Deputy Mayor Morgan. Yes. Bill number four, an ordinance. An ordinance of the city of Chester, Delaware County, Pennsylvania, creating new article 924, entitled Street Cleaning, to establish no parking street cleaning zones throughout the city of Chester, and repealing all ordinances or parts of ordinances inconsistent therewith. I move that we pass bill number four on the first reading. Second. Are there any questions? Madam Clerk. Councilors Williams. Yes. Morgan. Yes. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. My bad. <laughs> Jacobs. <laughs> I knew I was going to get it. Deputy Mayor Morgan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, at this time, we will open the microphones and the phones uh, for public comments. Solicitor, do we have anything as of? Your yeah. Honor, we have not received any calls. Okay. So we'll give them a few uh, moments. I have one thing that I want to mention. Um, so within the pen, throughout the. Oh. Do them first and then your announcement. I didn't hear you. Oh, the, promo oh Promotion. the promotions. The promotions. I apologize. I don't even have it on here. So at this moment, we have some promotions that we'll be doing this this morning uh, for our police and fire. Uh, the police. police officer store, front center. Thank you, people. There a Bible? He doesn't need it. You don't want the Bible, right? You don't need the Bible? No Bible. Okay. Department Commissioner Rigby. Firefighter Curry. 
time, I'd like to give the open, oath of office to Firefighter Curry, to the rank of Fire Captain of the Bureau of Fire. All right, state your name. Do you solemnly swear? Do my duty. As a Fire Captain for the State of Chester. To the best of my ability. To serve my commanding officers. And fellow firefighters with respect and dignity. Serve the citizens of the city of Chester. Serve the citizens of the city of Chester. With compassion, with compassion, courage, courage, and integrity. And integrity. And to uphold the law of the Constitution. And to uphold the law of the Constitution. Of the United States of America. The United States of America. The state of Pennsylvania. The state of Pennsylvania. And the charter of the city of Chester. And the charter of the city of Chester. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, God. city for almost a year now, filling in a couple vacancies at the rank of captain. And he's done an outstanding job and we're glad to have him. just want to thank Captain Curry and Sergeant Stewart for the work that they've done in the city of Chester and the work that they're going to continue to do uh, for both of their respective departments. So thank you, uh, thank both of you gentlemen. At this moment, uh, now we will open the microphones for public comments. Um, if there is any public comment, please call in. You know, or we will also check the emails to see if there's a public comment thus far. Until we hear a potential phone ring, I want to make a, a statement and a comment. Uh, Mayor and Council, uh, once this pandemic uh, came upon us, uh, we wanted to see where there was, if there were any areas that we might be able to help uh, the constituents or and or businesses within the city of Chester. Uh, we received some CARES Act monies. Uh, the city of Chester, uh, in our with our community development block grant funding, received monies from the uh, United States Department of Housing and urban development uh, through the CARES Act, and we allocated money to local businesses, small businesses, and to the residents within the city of Chester. Um, just last month, uh, we had, I believe, 19 local businesses apply for the uh, small business grant in the city of Chester, which we allocated $50,000 to. Uh, we're still in the process of deciding who of those uh, 19 uh, businesses will uh, receive funding. So I'm, I'm very thankful that we were, we're going to be able to help some of those businesses out that may have had some financial hardship throughout the times. Uh, we're struggling through keeping their uh, lights on or uh, struggling with business uh, coming into their uh, facilities because they were, you know, down for a few months. Uh, uh, one of the things that we also mentioned was uh, rental assistance for the constituents within the city of Chester. Uh, we've received a lot of phone calls over the last few months about when we were going to open uh, this grant up and um, the time is now. So on September 1st will be the first day that the city of Chester partnered with uh, CETA, uh, Chester Economic Development Authority and uh, CAADC, Community Action Agency. Uh, we will offer rental assistance program for the city of Chester uh, residents. Uh, it will be for 
Uh, you can apply and get up to $3,000 for rental assistance and up to $1,000 for utility assistance. Um, on, uh, we will be posting this information on the City of Chester's website and also uh, CETA's website, uh, where you'll be able to get all of the, the, the applications, the, uh, the requirements uh, per household. Um, so that's something that you know we're really, really uh, gracious and honored to be able to provide to the, to the residents of the City of Chester. Uh, so again, September 1st is going to be the opening uh, date for that. You must call and set up a, an interview uh, with Community Action Agency. All of that information will be on our website. So uh, we thank you all for, for really sticking with the City of Chester as we try to get the, the groundwork uh, together um, with the application and, and all of the agencies that's going to be assisting with this. Uh, but make sure you take advantage, if you are in need, make sure you take advantage of this opportunity uh, for your household. So thank you. Deputy Mayor, I um, want to announce uh, that beginning September the 9th, um, there will be COVID testing uh, here at the City of Chester uh, at City Hall uh, three times a week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and that'll be uh, for four weeks uh, going to that. We're real excited about that. We've had testing here uh, before, and that went well. Uh, we know how important testing is, uh, so I'm glad to announce that. The second thing I want to announce is um, the city has been distributing foods uh, every Tuesday, uh, about 600 boxes of vegetables um, and fruit and gallons of milk, and we have had uh, people come around about 600 boxes and we, uh, that's given out in about um, four or five hours uh, lines of uh, people so helping people in need uh, that need food and I want to give uh, credit uh, to Councilwoman Williams and her second hand man and the mayor I'm, I'm, I got this <laughs> Mayor Kirkland, uh, Councilwoman Williams, and uh, Dwayne Lee, who spearheads that and works. He work, he work, he works. Like, I mean, 90 degree weather, people pulling up in the car, they don't even have to get out and tossing the boxes in there to the families. And uh, that's a good thing. You, be, you should, uh, to be commended for that. Thank you. Can I add something to the COVID testing? Yes. Miss Smith, can you can you please go to the microphone? Two and up. That's no different mind. because of the upspike of, of, the, of uh, what's been taking place, and you know, people talk about going back to school, and whatever. This testing will include people from two and up because it will help, you know, with your households. Okay, so that's different than what we did before. We did 18 and up. This one will start from two years old and up. Okay. What time? What, what, what's the time for that, those uh, days? Nine to four. Nine to four. Okay, so testing will be from nine to four. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for four weeks. For Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for four weeks, beginning September 9th? That's correct. All right, thank you. The last announcement that I'll make is for uh, the census, the census count. Again, everybody counts September 9th, 12th. And 13th, the entire week of September 9th, uh, they will be uh, checking, uh, um, sorry, Chester census, will be uh, counting censuses. Uh, the time will be from 12 p.m. at the drive through within the city of Chester. So it's going to be here. Oh, we're going to be, okay, it's going to be a caravan around the city of Chester uh, taking the censuses. This will be with mayor and council the Chester City fire, fire trucks and also the Chester City Police Department will be driving through the city of Chester for census. All right. 
Is there any other public comments? Mr. Solicitor, do we have anyone that has phoned in? There have been no. Any other comments from Mayor and Council? Okay. Currently right now throughout the city of Chester, we have trash dumpsters uh, placed throughout the areas within the city of Chester. Uh, right now, I believe they're on the west end of Chester, and in this upcoming week, I believe they'll be on the east and east side of Chester. Uh, these dumpsters are for Chester residents um, only. Uh, we understand that some residents may have had bulk or uh, waste throughout their house throughout the pandemic, and most certainly because of a lot of the flood that we've been enduring over the last few weeks. So again, these dumpsters that are placed throughout the city of Chester are only for Chester residents. They are not for uh, those rental properties that these uh, contractors are cleaning out. Uh, so we ask that they get their own dumpster, which is required. Uh, and then we make sure that our residents uh, that needs to clean out their households take advantage of uh, what our partners with the city of Chester and the partnering uh, waste facilities and waste collection facilities have done for us. So uh, just take advantage of that and we, we thank you. And please do not, if the dumpster is full, please do not put the, the trash or the, the bulk next to or on the side of the dumpsters. They're very appreciative. Speak. Deputy Mayor, um, also with the bulk trash, we're asking that the residents uh, be the eyes and ears of the community because um, we have the dumpsters there for your convenience, um, but we cannot police them at the same time. So if you see someone putting something in their contractors and other folks from out of the area putting something in there. You don't have to approach them. Just simply get their license plate numbers and let us know um, so that um, we can make sure that that just that uh, they're properly used by the residents in that area. Secondly, there'll be a shedding, a shredding program here on this Saturday uh, coming, I think it begins at 10 o'clock. And we're asking that you would bring uh, those papers, uh, important papers that you want to discard to City Hall so that they might be uh, discarded properly. So you are invited to, it's a free sh uh, shredding event. Uh, I think the host of the event is Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. um, so we're asking, I'm being corrected, it's at nine o'clock, 9 a.m. to noon. And so it's being uh, hosted by, I think, um, Mount Ple Pleasant Baptist Church. So bring your papers, if you will. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Any other comments, Mayor Council? Hearing and seeing none, this council meeting is now adjourned.